Whooping cough can be so dangerous it can cause people to have broken ribs from coughing and even vomit. That's right, whooping cough is often called pertussis because it's caused by a bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. Uh, we only find this in humans and it, the bacteria is spread by um, through person to person. When somebody with whooping cough coughs or sneezes, the particles released from their cough or sneeze with the bacteria in them can come across other people and infect others. This is a condition we're seeing and we're hearing more and more about. Why? Because fewer people are getting vaccinated than ever before. And I say vaccines because we have vaccines against whooping cough. If there's one thing you take from this video, please understand we have a vaccination against it and it's important you get it. It's important your kids get it. But let's go back to the story, okay? What are some of the symptoms? Well, first of all, it takes about five to 10 days for symptoms to appear after someone's exposed to the bacteria that causes whooping cough. Sometimes people don't even get symptoms for like three weeks. So it can be sort of a protracted or longer uh, sort of course. The early symptoms of whooping cough can last for one to two weeks. Usually it's like cold symptoms, right? Runny nose, stuffy nose, um, low grade fever, mild occasional cough. Off. You might be thinking, all right, not a big deal. Okay, cool. However, one to two weeks after these initial symptoms, then people can start getting these paroxysms, okay, known as the coughing fits. That's when coughing can get bad. And the coughing fits literally can last for like one to six weeks, even up to 10 weeks. Guys, we're talking like two to three months, okay? And the cough tends to get worse and becomes more common as the illness continues. And this is the thing, this cough, we call it whooping cough because people make this high pitch whoop um, when they inhale after coughing. The whoop is people trying to catch air. They're trying to breathe in between coughing so much. And that's why we call it whooping cough. It's really very dangerous. Um, also, it can cause vomiting during or after these vomiting, uh, these coughing fits. It, as you can imagine, coughing a lot will make you feel exhausted, tired, worn down. You might have difficulty sleeping at night, struggling to breathe. And also, uh, ribs can be fractured from all the coughing that is done. And listen, the thing about it is people who have whooping cough often say that it's literally like the worst cough of their lives. And the people we worry about the most are the little ones, the babies, those less than one year old, they're at greatest risk of getting whooping cough and having severe complications from it. I mean, it's possible to be hospitalized from whooping cough. This is not nothing, all right? Um, the good thing is that there is treatment, okay? We have an antibiotic to treat it. Um, there's a number of different antibiotics that we have available, so that's a good thing. But we need to sort of treat and diagnose whooping cough early before the coughing fits begin, because that's really what helps making the illness less serious and help preventing um, the spread of like uh, the bacteria to other people. So it's early um, diagnosis is so, so important. But what I would also say is one of the biggest things here is vaccination. I'm gonna put up a graph this is from the CDC um, about the vaccines that are available for kids and adolescents, but also pregnant women and then also for adults. And this is the thing. If your doctor is telling you to get the whooping cough or Tdap uh, vaccine, please get it. If you are family members of someone where a young baby is coming into the household and your doctor is advising you to get it, please get it. Whooping cough is no joke, and some people, can, it can actually be deadly. It can affect both kids and adults, but it can be particularly dangerous for those who are young. So please use prevention. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've gotten your uh, whooping cough vaccine. It usually exists in the form of DTAP for kids and TDAP for adults. Um, write in the comments, share this video with other people who are parents of young children, um, grandparents, uh, folks that are gonna have uh, children in their household, et cetera, and even for yourself, because we should be making uh, making sure we get vaccinated and updated with um, the whooping cough vaccine, even as adults. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Please share this video with others. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, please follow me on Facebook. Also, please um, subscribe to my weekly health newsletter at drjencaudill.com. I'm on uh, Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, threads, etc. Find me everywhere. All right, guys. Love y'all. Bye.